hello everyone welcome back to my channel and to today's video so in this video i thought i'd give you my ultimate guide to becoming rich in wild horse islands because a lot of you have asked me how to do it and how i got so much money i don't have so much money at the moment because obviously as you know i spent three hundred thousand on on an infernal horse so yeah that's not that's not great is it so at the moment i only have four hundred thousand i'm just gonna quickly sell some stuff and then we will get started okay so let's get started i'm going to be going around like actually doing all of these different points that i'm saying so we can see how much money i get from each thing obviously the first way to get like super duper rich on wild horse islands is to catch horses and it is to catch every horse you see every single horse so that's what we're going to do for a bit we're going to go around every island and catch every horse to see how much money we get from catching and selling all the horses because i'm not entirely sure how much it is that you get and i don't know how many horses there are in total um obviously this isn't the same for everyone the money i get from catching every horse will be a little bit different to the money that you may get from catching every horse because it also depends on the value of the horse a rarer horse would cost like cost more than say just a bay quarter horse so pongo here would cost more than a bay quarter horse so it won't be the exact same but we're going to give a rough idea of how many horses you can catch in total over all the islands and as well as how much money roughly you can get um it may be more it may be less but you never know but this is the best way to get money on this game also i know that yesterday i put out a post on my community page that i was not going to be posting until valentine's day however that has changed i just had a really bad day yesterday and i thought i needed a break but i woke up this morning and was like no i want to record a video i want to do this video and so i got my laptop out and started recording so i'm okay i'm okay now um and i will keep posting and i am more determined than ever now to get my videos done and to get them good because i feel like i've been slacking recently I, just, I, I know I said that at the beginning of uh, February I'm going to be so much better with my posting and all that. But I wasn't. I missed one day. However, I am back. I am going to f make myself make a video every single day. Right, let's uh, make some lassos. Uh, we have no resources left. Uh... We have no resources left. That's not a good thing. We need to harvest as we go along, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how many horses there are on each island. There can't be over 100. Surely there can't. That would be a bit excessive, wouldn't it? If there's over 100 horses in total. I don't know. I, can't e I don't even know all the spawn points of the mainland. Also, actually, that's not true. I don't know all the spawn points on Jungle Island because since they've made the remodel, the spawn points are different. They're so different, and I get so confused. But if you guys would like me to do a video on all the spawn points on all the islands and kind of like my route that I take, uh, let me know. I can definitely do that. I just want to make as many videos as I can to make your experience playing this game better um so any tutorials any anything at all let me know over the valentine's event i usually don't do tutorials on events however i'm going to do loads just to help you guys out because i know that it helps me out a lot 
and so hopefully I will get a few videos out a day, who knows, if I make that many, um, then I will get them out, if I don't make that many, then I'll get out one a day, but definitely one a day over the Valentine's event, well, just from now on, actually, I will be one video at least every day. I'm going to give myself that, like, challenge to do. I know I used to do it, but then I lost a lot of motivation. I don't know. November was a really good month for me, during the Halloween event. That was a good month. Um, it also was because I was on a holiday. But, yeah, anyway. I've also put up a new video on my equestrian channel jjw equestrian i'll link it down below um i put up a new video on that yesterday a new another new one is coming out hopefully tomorrow if not tomorrow then friday um i'm hoping to start posting every other day it's just difficult because with euro he doesn't do much except hacking and flat work so I've got to think of some other ideas to do. Um, we could do some pole work. Who knows? Anyway, back to this. Catching horses is very, very important. I cannot stress enough how important it is to catch every single horse that you see if you want money. This is the best way. This is also a good way to... Oh, I should be harvesting stuff, shouldn't I? Yeah, so this um, way of getting money actually kills like three birds with one stone. So it's good for getting money. It's good for grinding for good horses. And it's good for grinding for IUH horses. So you may get an IUH from grinding like this. And especially during events, this is such a good way um, to go hunting because... You get so much money and you also may get um, event horses and you may get an IUH horse and you may get an IUH event horse. This is how I got glow stick. I just caught everything. This is what I'm going to, this is the method I'm going to be using for the Valentine's event. So I'm also going to, I could also do a video <coughs> on how to make like the most out of the Valentine's event if you want. I don't know. I don't know how I'd word it like how to catch the event horses i'm not sure um <coughs> sorry i still have a cough but yeah this is a very good thing to do this is also the point of the wild horses to just catch them all so i'm just going to catch quite a uh, few more and then we will see which how many horses we have at the end and how much money we have Forest Island is also my favourite, favourite island. Oh look, we caught a rare horse. It's a peacock Appaloosa. Yay! This is going to give us a little bit of money. A little bit more money than the other horses that we've been catching. So that's the first rare horse I've caught so far today. That's not very good, is it? No, it is not. Right, let's just keep catching and we'll see what we get. The... <clears throat> the next way to wait, make um, money, or not necessarily make money, but save money and stop spending so much, is by getting all your resources yourself, going around and harvesting everything. And the only thing you really need to buy is rope. If you buy 100 rope, you get you spend 5,000. Um, and then all the resources you should harvest yourself to save as much money as you can. And not spend it all because you will make the money back from the rope but you won't make too much money back from um buying resources so let me just stock up on my on my lassos this is really bad however i spent used so many um let's go equipment which one shall i use first Guess the gold is the least higher tier. So what I'm going to do <coughs> is tell you the other points as I'm going around catching the horses because I'm running out of time to record this video. 
So another way to make money is selling stuff at your market. It is always um, handy having a market with a horse stall because people are more likely to buy horses. <clears throat> and it is also good to sell good horses, not just random horses that you want to sell. Because those you could just sell to Larry. But like a good horse, like a breeding unique horse or anything like that, or an event horse sell that in your market because you will get more for it than larry will give you because larry is stingy and he doesn't like giving you a lot of money so yeah that's why i don't like selling to larry but unfortunately he's the only person you can sell to um larry doesn't give you different prices depending on the island he just gives you a price um so don't waste your time going to different islands trying to sell to different Larry's because that doesn't it doesn't make a difference so, way to make some money on this game is doing quests now quests don't give you a lot of money but they do also give you inventory space <coughs> so you will be getting two things at once so I think it's now after every six quests you get some inventory space um, so definitely do that, and sometimes you get money, sometimes you don't, but you also get a lot of XP from doing quests, so it's also a good way to level up, um, I'll do a different video on <coughs> how to level up fast, if you guys want, because I literally got to level 750 within a few days, which was crazy, but also I got addicted to this game, like, from the beginning, which isn't very good, um, but yeah, do quests. You can find a quest guy on every island. If you come up here, and if you zoom in a little bit. Oh, God. Okay, fine. Here it says quest, and then it says the name of the person. I can also do a video of all the special quests, um, and where to find everyone, and all that. If you think that would help you. So the special quests are basically things that give you something big. So on desert island you get a bridge on um on volcano island i think you start getting to hand in volcanic minerals like you start getting volcanic minerals which is also really handy um i'll have to do some research into it but let me know if that's something that you would want to see uh i think it could be quite helpful but yeah, quests are a good way to get inventory space, to get some money, and to get some XP, which is levelling up, basically. I've only got two more islands to go after this. We are almost done, which is a good thing. But the next point is harvest everything, because resources actually sell for a lot of money, especially the crystals. Um so you can buy them for some money but you can sell them for so much more um prismatic are obviously the most valuable then you've got moonstone oh there's a poetry one then you've got moonstone then you've got ob obsidian then amethyst then emerald topaz sa uh, sapphire diamond ruby clear quartz that is like the order of the crystals the other ores don't really sell for anything um but the prismatic gems sell for quite a bit when we're uh done with this island i will show you how much they sell for and we will compare if it's better to make a lasso or just sell the crystal i personally would think uh just sell the crystal because you are not wasting a rope i'm not sure which one would be better um but i just sell the crystals and as i said before it's also good to um harvest everything so you don't have to buy the resources because they cost quite a bit of money especially for good ones um i also don't waste my time on anything lower than copper so these three i don't waste my time with um, they'll take forever to catch a horse, unless obviously it's a quarter horse, but it's pointless, 
So I just really like harvesting copper and above. Um, <clears throat> here's some iron. And yeah, that's basically... We are now on Luna Island, so let's have a look and see the value of the crystals. On this island you can find moonstone and obsidian. Okay, so 205 is for prismatic. Moonstone is 187. So quite a big difference. So it is a good thing to get um, prismatic gems and sell them. Is this an Andalusian? It looks like a perch one from far away. Let me just check I have storage space. I do. To catch everything. I think I might have enough storage space to even catch on Volcano. <gasps> we can use our new Infernal horse in vo on Volcano. We are on the final island. We've got so many horses. Let's get our Infernal horse out. Where is it? There it is. It's spooky, but that's okay, I suppose. It's also very slow. <laughs> Goodness me, but it's fine. I don't even know if we need it because I very rarely die, but might as well use it. Okay, this is gonna take a bit longer than I thought, but we are on the final island and then we will be selling everything. And I have two more points to give you about how to make some money. Look how cool this is, they're definitely worth it. In case you don't know, um, hold on, let me just get this one first. Oop. In case you don't know, this is what the prismatic gems look like. Um, this just, in case you haven't unlocked Volcano Island yet, they are 250 to harvest, so it's always better to. Oh, my horse picked. Um, it's always better to have a good harvester that is also another thing invest in a harvester it may cost a lot of money but it's good it is a good investment um i need more i need more lassos do i have any more resources i've got bronze we finished catching on volcano island so the next thing you should do to get money that you could do is apple farming apple farming is great so you come to this farmer guy here on mainland buy a bunch of apple seeds head on over to your private island you head on over to your private island you go to the boat guy you say can you take me to a private island you go to your private island and it also helps having your farm like your crops upgraded to the highest tier um so mark it why can i not jump why have they taken this thing out of the game that you can jump out of the water so silly <clears throat> okay so you come over to your crops it also helps having it obviously upgraded to the highest tier then you go to is it in resources now they changed it around it's in resources now and you just start planting all your apples and when oh God. so when the apples have like grown you get quite a lot of money from it um because obviously you only use one seed to plant the apple tree and then the apple tree gives you like three apples and sometimes golden apples plus a bunch of logs and leaves and sticks and all of that um so this is a really good way to make money and make money for not really fast because you have to wait obviously they spend i think nine hours why is this happening nine hours to grow they take nine hours to grow um let's just do the other side so yeah i have the highest tier farm sure i don't know if it's the highest tier anymore since the upgrade but i don't think they added another up upgrade for the farm i think it's only for the barn and the pasture 
so yeah plant all of them this takes forever to do on a horse let's just get off the horse I always get off the horse to do it because it's so much faster okay we are almost done so yeah this is also a really good way to get money I've not done this in ages it is also a good way rather than buying a bunch of apples for the apple basket you can just do this and you get so many apples from it I think you get like 600 or something 500 I don't know but they're all planted now we have to wait for them to grow and that brings me to my last point my last point is pretty obvious sell everything just sell everything so all the horses except your main horse um your main horses and like the event horses even with event horses sell sell some of them if you've got so many just sell everything and you will get so much money sell resources sell lassos sell tax sell accessories sell horses everything and you will get a lot of money for it so let's see how many horses we caught over all of the islands I did catch a bit more than what you usually would because I found a fjord herd um, so that obviously gave me a few more horses than you would catch okay we've got so many um, I'm thinking like a hundred horses maybe Boom, boom. 103 horses. Let's see what he gives us for that. 42,000. Are you serious? Only 42,000. That's a bit stingy, Larry. But anyway, I hope that this little guide helped you. And let me know if you have any other tips or tricks on how to make some money on this game. Um, let me know which one's your favourite to do. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye, everybody.